Soundstripe. What a beautiful afternoon the Lord has given us for such a glad occasion as this. For we gather together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses joined uh, together to see Kelton and Chrislin start their lives together in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God in the innocence of Eden symbolizing the mystical reunion between Christ and His church. This holy estate Christ adorned and sanctified with His presence and His first miracle that He performed in Cana, Galilee. And the writer of the Hebrews commended as being honorable among all people. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. And into this holy estate these persons now come be joined. Kelton and Christmas. I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember the commitment of marriage is a commitment to permanence. It is intended of God that your marriage will be for life and that only death will separate you. If the vows you exchange today be kept without violation and if you seek always to know and to do the will of God your lives will be blessed with His presence and your homes will abide in peace. Oh my goodness, girl, you look beautiful! Oh my goodness, look at you! That's alright, look at you, baby! You know, I was sitting there thinking just then and everything, what I was to say or anything, and I was thinking, remember? All the dirt and the dust and all the little girly tomboy. <laughs> look at you. Look they at you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Better than okay. Uh, don't so, cry. I know, I know. Don't I told them I'm going to cry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the same little That's girl that true. walked out this morning. I love you, baby. Are you ready? I'm ready. Kelton, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, comfort, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaken all others? Keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live. And Chrislin, will you have this man to be your wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaken all others. Keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live. Then who comes to give this woman to be married? I, Kelton, take you, Christmas, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death us do part according to God's holy ordinance and there too I pledge you my faith and Crystal, would you repeat after me I Crystal and take you Kelton to be my wedded husband to hold from this day forward for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death us do part according to God's holy ordinance and there too I pledge you my faith we have the ring this ring I give you as a token of my love, and as a pledge of my constant fidelity. 
this ring I give you as a token of my love and as a pledge of my constant fidelity. For as much as this man and this woman have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company and have declared the same by joining hands, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and by the power invested in me by the state of Tennessee and to whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Lay one on. We Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you now at this moment, Mr. 